Hey folks, it's Kate here. I'm here to do a quick video about how to do bulk actions in FreshBooks. So there's quite a, a few different places where you can make changes to many transactions all at once, and I'm gonna walk through them here. The main point I want to make is, typically in FreshBooks, whenever you see a little checkbox, you may also see a tiny little gray button that's not very obvious. Once you start clicking those boxes, a tiny gray button that says bulk action. So that's what you're always going to be looking for. We're going to dive into several. I'm going to start with the expenses section, and then I'm going to go down the left side of a FreshBooks account and hit those to um, walk through the different bulk uh, edit items in those categories. So if you need to jump ahead, you can look at the timestamps below and figure out how to do bulk edits for uh, clients, invoices, payments, estimates, time tracking. I'm going to uh, get to all the all the left side menus, what we're going to dive into. All right, so let's get started. All right, I'm in the FreshBooks uh, demo account. I am coming to the expenses section. The reason why I'm starting with the expenses section is because I think one of the most important reports you can run is the expense by, expenses by merchant report, and this is how you would be able to clean that up. So I think you should run the expenses by merchant report at least every month and keep your merchants, uh, merchant list very clean. And uh, if you need a tutorial on how to find that, ex how to do that expenses by merchant report, I have one that I'll have it pop up right here or, or it'll be linked below. But we're in the expenses tab, and here's a great example of, a, of perhaps something that we need to um, edit to clean up all at once. So, um, like I said, whenever there's a checkbox, if you click it, you will uh, have this bulk action item. Again, that's not very obvious. It's kind of kind of gray and not, not super obvious. So, we can click that, though, and it's, it became available once I started clicking multiple boxes. Um, I picked this because it looks like um, this demo account has Uber Canada Eats, and then it also has Uber Eats. So we can change the merchant on this. Uh, if we start typing Uber, um, we maybe want to label all of our Uber Eats as Uber space Eats. Uh, and then we can change that. Now, let's say that we wanted to put all of these Uber Eats, let's say, as a different uh, category. You can change the category. Maybe this is like employee uh, benefits. We could change all of those at once, and it'll change here down below, um, change the category. What else can we change? Uh, you can assign all of these to a client or project. Um, mark as a bill payment, lots of different things. So that's that. A couple of other things to um, do this really quickly. I'm going to uncheck this. Actually, the best way is probably to come here and then to unclick. If you want to sort, like say you're going to make a bunch of changes to your vendor, um, you can sort by name, and that might uh, help you figure out um, things that start with the same letter, like Uber would have all been together, and so it would have brought all the Uber Eats from you know months and months. All right, let us keep going. What else do I want to talk about about that report? Okay, I think that's pretty much it for the expenses. It's my favorite one to do bulk actions for. So let's start going through this left-hand side. Clients, clicking here, clicking here, bulk actions, archive or delete. You can also edit a client from in here. Not a lot. Let's move along. All right, I'm here in the invoices tab now, over here at invoices. So a couple things I wanted to point out. So a couple of these are drafts. You can see over here on the left. So let's click a couple of these, say we need to send them. Click three. Now we can come to bulk actions. We can click send by email. We can click mark as sent. Um, typically in FreshBooks, you don't have to be scared. Uh, I'm going to click mark as sent, and I'm going to get a warning. So that um, just gives you that extra reassurance that, yes, double check, I want to do this. Um, so you'll get these warnings. Uh, so if I did send by email, that, there's another warning is there, there too. I'm going to point out this add payment feature here um, in the invoices tab. So if we add payment, this is a pretty quick way to add a bunch of payments. So a workflow that you could possibly use is have on one screen your bank account, and maybe you've been making deposits or you use a different type of payment processor or whatever, and then you want to double check, like, okay, which of these invoices have been paid? I've taken money outside of FreshBooks, but it has been deposited. 
So have your bank account open, look through those deposits, see who's paid you and what's been deposited, and add your payments here. I'm going to cancel out of this. All right, we already did expenses, estimates. In the estimates tab, perhaps you send several and they don't become uh, accepted. You could uh, click, on the, click on these and archive or delete them. Um, that would help with um, just keeping this list clean. All right, and before we can get our way through the rest of this menu on the left, I just want to say, if you appreciate this content, I would surely appreciate a subscribe, a thumbs up, or maybe asking a question or comment below if you've got one. It helps me as I build this FreshBooks YouTube channel. And you're watching this because you're already probably a FreshBooks user, but if you know anyone who needs to use FreshBooks and you like it and want to recommend it, I can get uh, anyone a 90-day free trial of FreshBooks with my account referral link. So I love to share that information as well. So please connect them to me if they want to test out FreshBooks free for 90 days. All right, now let's get back to our tutorial. All right, so now we're in time tracking. All right, in time tracking, we've got a couple things. Let's click these unbilled ones. There were four unbilled. And you can put mark as build. If I, if I remove this one, and this is all for the ABC company, I can come up to bulk actions, and I can generate an invoice. So let me click on that. It gives you prompts here to create an invoice based on those items. You'll still be able to edit the invoice afterwards, but once you click Add to Invoice, those items get already populated. So it's a great way, efficient way to do that. And there's different uh, uh, toggle buttons that you can select to make it look different. I'm going to cancel this. Cancel this. The last thing I'll pull out, pulling out is this Apply to Retainer. Um, I was able to click. Uh, two build options here, two, the choose two green ones, and uh, apply to retainer. And you'll get a warning if you want to apply those to a retainer. Coming over here now to projects, not a ton. If you select multiple projects, you will get a chance to archive or delete them. And then I'll point out that if you, one useful thing I can see, selecting one and go to actions and click duplicate. Now, that would be for someone who has um, sort of like a standard template of services that you offer, or if you're going to offer this particular client the same package, then you'd be able to duplicate uh, that project in this way. Um, so two, two different ways to think about it, either billing it, like rec recreating it for the same client or for a different client, and then you can go in and, and edit that new project that you created, but it'll transfer over a lot of those details that were hidden in the project. All right, I tried to blow through this fast because I want you to get on with your work. I just want to let you know that I have a community of people who are doing their own bookkeeping on FreshBooks but have, have me in their back pocket. We meet weekly and we have a private community and you can ask me any question and if I don't know the answer, I commit to getting it. So if you are interested in that, there's a link below where you can uh, sign up for the Fresh Bookkeeping Network. We have a great time and if you have any need more information about that, l let me know and I will um, try to explain it to you. We can jump on a quick call. There's a way to contact me in the description below as well and see if that would be a good fit or if you're ready to fully outsource your bookkeeping, I can help with that too. My name's Kate Josephine Johnson. I'm the owner of Heritage Business Services and I help businesses build their business legacy.